Have you ever been in the middle of a movie marathon or an online game and suddenly your internet just drops? That little spinning wheel or lag spike can turn a fun night into pure frustration. And in those moments, the type of internet you have suddenly matters more than anything else. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest debates in tech, 5G versus fiber internet. Which one is better? Which one is faster, more reliable, easier to access, and most importantly, worth your money? Let's break it all down right here on History of Simple Things. When we talk about fiber internet, we're really talking about one of the most advanced wired connections ever built for consumers. Fiber optic cables use thin strands of glass or plastic to transmit data as light. Imagine billions of tiny pulses of light carrying information at nearly the speed of light itself. This is why fiber has earned a reputation as the gold standard of wired internet. On the other hand, 5G internet belongs to the wireless world. It's the fifth generation of mobile networks designed not just for phones, but also for home broadband, smart devices, self-driving cars, and even factories. Instead of wires, 5G uses radio waves transmitted from cell towers and small antennas, delivering ultra-fast speeds without needing a physical connection to your home. At first glance, both sound amazing. One delivers near-instant light speed signals through cables, the other gives you fast wireless access almost anywhere. But when we stack them side by side, the differences become very clear. Let's start with the big one, speed. Fiber internet is fast, really fast. Typical consumer fiber plans range anywhere from 300 megabits per second to over one gigabit per second. In some cities, providers are offering multi-gigabit fiber, reaching two, five, or even 10 gigabits per second for those who need serious bandwidth. What makes fiber even more powerful is that it usually offers symmetrical speeds, meaning your upload speed is just as fast as your download speed. That's a game changer for people who upload videos, work with cloud storage, or video conference all day. Now, 5G isn't exactly slow either. In fact, under the right conditions, 5G can hit speeds that rival or even exceed fiber. In laboratory tests and in cities with M-Wave 5G, the super high frequency version, download speeds can reach several gigabits per second. That's enough to download a full HD movie in seconds. But here's the catch. Those ultra fast speeds only happen in ideal conditions. You need to be close to a 5G tower with no major obstacles and in an area where not too many people are competing for the same signal. In the real world, most people using 5G get speeds closer to a few hundred megabits per second. Still good, but not always better than fiber. And since fiber performance doesn't really drop based on location once the cables are installed, fiber often wins when it comes to consistency. But speed isn't everything. Let's talk about latency. The delay between when you click something and when the network responds. This is especially important for gamers, video calls, and real-time applications like trading or remote surgery. Fiber internet usually delivers extremely low latency, often below 10 milliseconds. That's practically instant from a human perspective. 5G on paper promises latency as low as one millisecond, which is even better. But in practice, it's usually higher, closer to 20 to 40 milliseconds for most users. That's fine for browsing and streaming, but fiber still tends to be the safer bet for ultra responsive connections. Now let's look at reach and coverage. Fiber has a major limitation. It's tied to physical infrastructure. Companies need to dig trenches, lay down cables, and physically connect neighborhoods. That's expensive and time consuming, which is why even today, not every area has access to fiber. Cities and suburbs often get it first, while rural and remote areas are left behind. This is where 5G shines. Because it's wireless, it doesn't require cables running to every single house. A single tower can cover a wide area, and once your provider activates 5G in your region, you can connect almost immediately with the right device. This makes 5G incredibly powerful for rural communities, travelers, or people who simply don't want to be tied down by wires. That said, 
Not all 5G signals travel the same way. The fastest version, millimeter wave, has very short range and struggles with walls, trees, and even rain. To cover an entire city with MM Wave 5G, you'd need thousands of small antennas. On the other hand, low band 5G travels much farther, but its speeds are closer to 4G LTE than fiber. So yes, 5G can reach more places, but the performance you get heavily depends on what type of 5G is available near you. All right, let's talk about accessibility and ease of setup. Getting fiber internet usually means scheduling an installation. A technician comes to your home, drills a hole, installs a box and runs the fiber line inside. It can take a few hours, and in some cases, you might have to wait weeks if your neighborhood isn't fully wired yet. But once it's in, you're set for years with one of the most reliable connections possible. 5G, in contrast, is practically plug and play. Many carriers now offer 5G home internet where you just get a small router that connects to the 5G network. Plug it in, set it by a window, and you're online in minutes. No digging, no drilling, no waiting. That convenience alone makes 5G very attractive for people who move often, live in apartments, or simply don't want the hassle of installation. Now, we can't ignore the big question, cost. Fiber internet prices vary by provider, but in most regions, a gigabit fiber plan costs anywhere between $50 to $80 per month. Some premium multi-gigabit plans go higher, but most people find the regular gigabit tier more than enough. Installation fees can sometimes add an upfront cost, though many providers waive them as part of promotions. 5G home internet, meanwhile, usually comes in at a similar price range, $50 to $70 per month for unlimited data. What makes it appealing is that it often doesn't have extra fees for installation or equipment. Some providers even include it as part of a mobile plan bundle, making it cheaper overall if you're already a customer. So when it comes to cost, fiber and 5G are often neck and neck. But fiber tends to give you more stable speeds for the same price, while 5G gives you more flexibility and easier access. So which one is better? Honestly, it depends on your situation. If you're a heavy gamer, streamer, or remote worker who needs rock-solid speeds every single day, Fiber is the way to go. It's the most reliable, and once it's installed, you rarely have to think about it again. But if you live in a rural area without fiber, move around a lot, or simply want internet you can set up in five minutes without calling a technician, 5G might be your best bet. It won't always match fiber's peak performance, but for everyday use, it's more than enough. In the end, it's not really a fight to the death between 5G and fiber. Instead, they're two different tools, each filling in the gaps the other leaves behind. Fiber is building the foundation for ultra-fast wired networks, while 5G is extending that speed to places cables can't reach. So the real winner, honestly, it's us, the users. Because whether it's through blazing fiber lines or invisible 5G signals, the future of internet connectivity is only getting faster, smarter, and more accessible. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.